This short video will explain how to use the Elmo document camera and explore a few of its features. First, connect the power supply to the back of the Elmo. Then, to connect the Elmo to a projector, use the RGB cable and plug it into the back of the Elmo and connect the other end to your projector. Here is an illustration of the setup. Do not lift the Elmo projector from the arm or anything but the base. You can swivel the arm of the Elmo projector 180 degrees and then the head can swivel 90 degrees. Turn on your projector and then turn on your Elmo by holding down the power button until it stops blinking blue and has a steady blue light. Here you can see the projected image is of my desk. You can zoom in and out using the button on the side of the Elmo document camera head. So you can do a zoom of the projected image and then you can press the button in the middle of the zoom for autofocus. There's also a button on the remote for autofocus. You can also change the contrast, the brightness, on the actual document camera and on the remote. So in this instance, since it's very difficult to see the projected image of the cartoon picture, I can change the contrast so that I can see the image more clearly. There's also an illumination lamp with an on and off switch on the head of the document camera. The remote that comes with the document camera has lots of special features, and so we're going to highlight a few of those here. The first one is the highlight button, and so when I press that button you can see that a certain part of the image is highlighted, and then I can use my up, down, side arrows to move that highlighted section around. Another feature is the mask feature. And so when I press the mask button, it masks the screen, and I can use the arrow buttons to move the masked area around so I can very easily cover up part of the image if I didn't want the students to view it. The other option is the last button on the right, which is the zoom button, and it will zoom in the image, and then I can use the up and down and side arrows to move around the image. I can press it again to set it back to the original exposure. Another button is on the bottom right of the controller, and this will allow you to freeze frame an image and then show a quarter of the screen with the, with the freeze frame. So then I can use my arrow buttons to move that freeze frame around um, so I still have my live image with a quarter of the screen as the frozen image. And if I press the freeze image button again, I go back to the regular. The Elmo projector comes with a microscope attachment so that you can view the, a digital image uh, projected from a microscope. You can also hook up the Elmo document camera to a digital television, to a projector, to a computer, and even to an interactive whiteboard. So to connect the projector to a computer, you plug in the RGB cable to the back of the Elmo projector, and then plug in the other end to your computer. And so here, with the click of a button, we can change our view to the computer view, or we can toggle back to the Elmo projector view. 
You can also do this using the remote by pressing the computer button. And then use the remote to toggle back to the projector view by using the um, arrow at the bottom. The Elmo document camera comes with a few special tools, including a presentation stage. So I can hook the presentation stage to the corner of the Elmo projector, lay my document on top of the stage, and use things like the um, included magnet and the anti-glare sheet. The head and the arm of the Elmo swivel in such ways that it provides flexibility for showing different types of objects. So in this case, if I want to see this 3D object of this orange, I can swivel the head and the arm of the Elmo document camera to give me a better 3D visualization of that object. To turn the document camera off, press and hold the power key until it turns red. While there are lots of other features that the Elmo document camera has to offer, this video at least gives you an overview of how to connect the document camera to a projector and to a computer and covers the basic features of the document camera and the included remote control. If you have additional questions, reference the instruction manual that comes with the Elmo or let me know if I can help further.